Welcome to the party, pal. Your friendly neighborhood master chaos back with you once again. It's another sultry Sunday night. And I get to open some presents. Why don't you uh, stick around and see what's in these boxes. I was going to go with my new weapon of choice. But I decided I think I'm going to unbox... with a unique little tool today. Let's start with this little puppy from FYE. Okay, let's dig in. Let us dig in here. Okay, first of all, I see this already. This is for my collection. You know, from my last unboxing, I collect Chucky Pops. This is an FYE exclusive. Oh my God, it's beautiful. It's the poster, of course, from part two, which I consider the best Child's Play movie. I think most Chucky fans consider part two the best in the series. This is a lovely piece. And I'll be very happy to add this to my collection along with my slash face Child's Play 3 Chucky. I'll put that aside for a second. Next, Ooh, what do we got here? What's this? I actually don't remember what this is. Oh, yes, okay. This is my, let me see if I can get straight up here. My baby Yoda shirt. Today I feel curious, happy. You know what? I'm gonna lay this out for you guys in a minute. Show you all the ranges of baby Yoda. Next. Geek out Disney, for the ultimate Disney fan. During quarantine, we need all kinds of things to entertain us. And this is for Disney fans of all ages. Quick, name three characters who live in the Mickey Mouse universe. Leave a comment down below. The first person to do so will get a personal shout out from me in the next uh, physical media exercise. Cool. Looking forward to playing this with the family. And I believe that is that. Hmm. No, well, this is pretty cool too. Here's a closer look at that baby Yoda shirt. This is not for me, it's for a family member. But it is cute nonetheless. And something that I will enjoy looking at. I think we can all agree. Playful is a favorite. We're gonna leave the big beast for last. And continue on with this little baby right here. Okay. This is a little sticker sticky in here. Oh yes, War of the Worlds. I am still trying to complete my Criterion collection before the sale is finished. I'm nowhere near, of course, a complete set. Not that I want the entire Criterion collection, to be honest, but of the ones on my master list for this sale for the month of July 2020, I had War of the Worlds at the top and I couldn't find it in the stores and here it is mailed to my house. Let's take a look at those special features. Audio commentary by Joe Dante and Bob Burns and Bill Warren. That's awesome. Uh, really looking forward to hearing that one. Uh, audio interview with George Powell. Let's see here. For those of you who don't know the story, this is obviously War of the Worlds. Feel free to pause if you want to read that in detail. 85 minutes, color. I am so excited to have this film in a luxe edition like this. There we go. Focus is being a little wonky. I apologize greatly. This disc was made in Mexico. FYI. This is amazing. I am honored to own this beautiful, beautiful edition. And for some reason, it doesn't want to focus on it. Stop looking at that eye. Look at this. Let's open this guy. Ah, uh, 
move them into position here. Perfect. For the record, I wouldn't recommend a pizza cutter as a box cutter. Okay, my friend, last box of the night. Let's party. What's in here amidst this fluffy bunch of bags? Ah, kid brother. Fantastic. My collection continues. One of my goals, of course, uh, as a Criterion collector, is to get every silent film that the collection puts out and Harold Lloyd is a big part of Criterion, and so I definitely needed to get my hands on Kid Brother. It's, I think, his only Western. There's a little damage there. I just noticed that. Not 100% happy about that. 82 minutes. Uh, it's a little bit about the back. If you uh, want to know more about the film, feel free to pause that. Oh, the focus will last. Thank you. Sorry about that. There is a little bit of damage there. Not crazy about that. I always wonder... If well, it doesn't seem to go into, I think it's just the uh, outer packaging, so it, it's okay. It's not a big deal. The, the the case itself is not damaged, so that's fine. I always, I always wonder if they damage things on purpose before they mail it out. Maybe I'm just being paranoid, but uh, Kid Brother, Harold Lloyd, fantastic. But this isn't the only thing in this giant box, of course. Down here we've got this beautiful giant thing right here. I'm gonna move that aside and bring this baby down before me. This is gonna require a little work, so I'm using this. And behold, another box. Okay, hold on. Open this up. Okay, put this aside. And it is, yes, oh my god, uh, oh, I'm so excited, my friend, check this out, oh lord, it is massive, wow, it is gigantic, I mean, compared to a regular release, put that right there side by side, just as an FYI, look how big it is, let me get Kid Brother over here as well and see... It is bigger than two Blu-ray stacks. You guys can see that. Whoa, baby. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I've been wanting this for so long. Look at this. The Showa era films, 1954 to 1975. 15 films, I think technically 16 because it has two different versions of Godzilla. It includes Godzilla, Godzilla Raids Again, King Kong vs. Godzilla, Mothra vs. Godzilla, Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster, Invasion of the Astro Monster, Ibira, Horror of the Deep, Son of Godzilla, Destroy All Monsters, All Monsters Attack, Godzilla vs. Hidorah, Godzilla vs. Gigan, Godzilla vs. Megalon, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, and Terror of Mechagodzilla. Almost all of them directed by Ishiro Honda. And Jun Fukuda, I think he does the other bulk of the films. That's exciting. This is exciting to me very much. You know what? Let's let's crack this baby open. My friend, let me show you what we're dealing with here. Woo, baby, look at that. My God. I think I want a poster of probably every page. Oh my God. Oh, wow. Okay, Reign of Destruction. We get a little right up here. Looks like it's a little segment on each film. There he is, chomping on that delicious subway train. Godzilla raids again. Oh, what a gorgeous artwork. It's okay, so it's all different. It's all unique. Every movie has a different look. Ah, uh, yes, look, they capture King Kong's really stupid face here. Okay, next. Mothra vs. Godzilla. Beautiful colors. Look at that. Wow. Okay, oh, look at this. Ghidorah, the three-headed monster. Look at this. That is so cool. It's like a Peruvian, almost Aztec-looking thing. <laughs> Invasion of the Astro Monsters. Okay, so this is the one that Godzilla does his famous silly victory dance. Uh, and, of course, this is highlighting that. That's beautiful. Ibira, Horror of the Deep. This is uh, when he fights the uh, lobster guy. Yes, the lobster guy. And there's the people who are... 
watching in horror as uh, the ultimate battle commences. Then, oh, Son of Godzilla. Oh, wow, what an interesting poster. Look at that. This is probably the... Well, I mean, they're all fairly silly. I'll give you that. But this guy, kind of like a E.T. looking thing, kind of really brought the series down. In my estimation, of course. My opinion, of course. But I really like how he's riding on Godzilla's tail here. It's kind of a neat... And the colors are just awesome. Destroy all monsters. Oh, look at the splash on this. What the hell? Wow. My friend, I think I need a drink. This is too much. Oh, wow. Oh, here we go. All monsters attack. All monsters attack? I thought it was called something else. Yeah, maybe it was all monsters attack. Okay. And then we got uh, Minya. Is that Godzilla's son's name? I believe it's Minya. And of course, little Japanese kid in little shorts and the tall tree. Oh, this, this is a cool ass drawing. Okay, next. Godzilla versus Hidora there. Really fun movie. This, the, um,. Smog monster, right? I believe the he. I believe he's the smog monster, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, really fun movie, gorgeous, really detailed artwork here. Oh my god! I don't know why Criterion doesn't sell these. Godzilla versus Gigan. Well, there's Gigan looking like a badass. Mr. Godzilla here protecting his little friends, looking great. Lots of lightning. That's beautiful. Oh wow! What? Godzilla versus Mega. Look at this. So there's an atomic cloud Godzilla. Jet Jaguar. I believe that's Jet Jaguar. There's... Uh, no, this is Megalon. This is Gigan. This is Gigan, right? Yeah. That's beautiful. Oh my god. That is epic. These are breathtaking. And then, of course, Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla. He looks so cool right there. And I don't remember this guy's name. I remember him in the movie, but I can't place him. But that is... Epic as hell. And then the last film here, The Terror of Mechagodzilla. Wow. Wow. Look at that. I mean, you could probably stare at this for hours. What? Guys, <clears throat> I'm not ashamed to say that I have creamed my jeans for this. This is so worth it. So worth it. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Where the hell are the movies? Okay, so let's see that. So there's this. I don't know what this is. That's just like his backside. And voila, the movies are here. In eight discs, I believe. Yes. And let me get you a little closer shot of that. One and two. And then three and four over here for some reason. Sorry about that. Five and six. And seven, eight. There we go. Astounding. I am blown away. I need to go change my shorts at the moment. So I'm just going to close this and come back to it when I'm able to compose myself. Beautiful. Godzilla, welcome home. Well, that'll do it for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Well, probably not as much because I get to keep all this and you don't. But today I walked away with 18 new movies, 16 with a set, 17, 18, a new pop, board game for the family, and a t-shirt for a family member. They're going to love it. I hope you loved today's video. I hope this video has found you happy, healthy, and well. I appreciate your time and I appreciate you spending it with me, your friendly neighborhood, Master Chaos. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I currently have a 300 subscriber contest. If I hit 300 subs before August 1st, or I should say on, on August 1st, I will pick one of my subscribers and contact them and then donate $20 to the charity of their choice. Uh, if you're old here, welcome back. It's good to see you. That'll do for today, as I said. I'll see you next weekend for another unboxing, but tomorrow we shall meet again for a physical media exercise daily vlog. Until then, Godzilla says, Bite, bite.